What's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, our names are Ria and Sam, we're full time travellers from London. In today's video we are going on our first ever safari and hopefully we see some incredible animals. It's only 5am and we're heading out Very tired. into the darkness <laughs> to try and see a leopard. <laughs> been a bucket list item for literally a decade for us we've never done a safari and we are just so so excited <laughs> look at that little face quick snack break just these please thank you you and your snackage <laughs> what's this oh spicy chickpeas they have the best snacks in Sri Lanka and they're so cheap. Usually this is literally about 20p. So since arriving in Sri Lanka two weeks ago, me and Ria have put on so much weight. So we're now on a diet, hence the chickpeas for breakfast. <laughs> One bag for two. We'll survive till lunch. Hopefully. What girls do on Instagram. to be riding an elephant, otherwise I won't be happy. <laughs> Such an idiot. So we have our tickets and now the safari begins. Buffaloes are having their morning bath, as you can see. I'm going to do my best to keep the camera still during this vlog. It might be a little bit challenging because the road is literally like this. Hopefully this video will transport you here, but sometimes beauty like this has to be seen in person. We've been in a pile-up for the last 10 minutes and now we look ahead and a car is tipped over. I don't know if you can see it here. It's tipped on its side, so hopefully that won't be us. <laughs> so I think we have to go and save the tourists now. I wonder if there's anyone here. That's probably like 10 people just like, help! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, after that half an hour hold up, we're on the move. So one thing that we've noticed about Sri Lanka, and it's not just in the national park, but it's everywhere we've been so far, is that the wildlife and the nature is absolutely flourishing. When you've come from countries just like Vietnam, where there's literally no wildlife at all, it makes you really, really notice it and appreciate it. If you love animals and nature like us, book a trip to Sri Lanka. <gasps> We're looking at the male peacock dancing to attract a female mate. I can't see the female, so maybe he's just practicing. Oh, there's the female. Yeah. The female's not even looking. So the male's doing his thing, he's dancing, and the female's just oh doing God, her own head. thing. She don't even care. There's the female, and there's the male. You're wasting your time, mate. <laughs> when he's doing his dance, he wiggles his bum up and down like this. <laughs> he's twerking. twerking. Go and give him some attention. Never thought I'd see a twerking peacock. <laughs> Ever. He's so cute. What was that? Green parrots. 
they flew past. So cute. <laughs> Absolutely adores birds. Oh, brilliant, thank you. So they're called green bee eaters. Oh, so I've just so learned something new. Horrible. I just called them bird. <laughs> Apparently they've got a name. Something we can't show you is the abundance of birds, but they are so beautiful and they're everywhere. I'm in heaven. The camera captured the perfect picture of him. Oh, oh. So we're currently looking at Elephant Rock and these landscapes. And you can see Elephant Rock right here. One of the best views you've ever seen. Oh my God, it's so nice. It just looks like someone has created it with AI. Like the greens are so vibrant, the water reflection of the clouds. That massive rock in the background, all these birds flying over it. Wow, like, wow. Oh my God. So we've come across our second male peacock doing a dance, but this time the female is actually interested. Look. She's loving it, she's eating it right up. Look, look, look at him wiggling in his bum. Look, she's all over it. Yeah, I think he's sealed the deal, this one. Okay, on to the next animal. Hopefully uh, not another peacock. Hopefully a leopard or an elephant. So we've stumbled across our second crocodile. It's quite small, really, but you can see him a lot clearer than the first. So you probably can't see, but the mouth is wide open. We've just been told that that's to regulate its temperature. I had no idea. Yeah, because inside he's really hot. So if it goes like this, he gets cooler. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll start walking around like this. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm hot, which is right now. birds. <laughs> so we're just finding somewhere to go to toilet because there's no toilet breaks on this tour at all. So we've got to find a nice bush with no crocodiles in it. But we've stumbled Stop across. It. Oh he's gone. He's gone, yeah. Oh there's a mongoose eating some buffalo poo. <laughs> Nature's so nice. They're just so interesting. Oh <gasps> no! Yes! Elephant! Oh Rhea just spotted an elephant on the way to the toilet. <laughs> wow. I'm so glad that I asked to go to the toilet because on the way we went down this back bit that no one's going and we've got an elephant. <gasps> oh my God. So our tour guide says he thinks it's a male elephant. So he's just hanging around in the trees. I think he's eating, but he's so beautiful and big. Oh, okay, toilet break. Oh. Good luck, Ria. Yeah. Try not to get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> so much better because the Jeep was going bang, 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 and my bladder was going like, oh my God, please, I need a relief. <laughs> oh, but how unreal. We see this elephant and it was like in this path just so perfectly placed and it was so beautiful. So thank you, bladder. I've seen elephants before, but... In like a place where they keep them. Or yeah, like a we've seen them in sanctuaries, you know, but to see him in the wild... Oh, here he is. Yeah. He crossed the road. He crossed when we were gone.
He's literally just drinking from a little creek. It's so peaceful. He's so cute. I can literally sit and watch him all day. Isn't it? Wow. See, that alone has made the tour completely worth it. Yeah. It's getting really hot now, though. We've been on the tour for about three, four hours. So the midday sun is approaching. And uh, hopefully it's lunchtime soon, because I'm starving. <laughs> Oh, it's a little baby one. Yeah. <laughs> we have a family of hogs crossing our path right now. It's two little babies. <laughs> so cute. They're so cute. This and one of them so keeps cute. jumping in the water. <laughs> Oh, look at the little bug. Oh no, there's three babies. Three babies. So this is a female elephant and it looks like she's pregnant. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna have a baby. Oh, I hope we see a baby. She is seriously so cool. Like, look, she's literally right next to me, just having her lunch. Wow. <laughs> Worth every penny this tour, I tell you. So we've stumbled across a black-faced grey langer monkey, and there's a few of them in the tree here. I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up on the GoPro, but let's try it anyway. Right here. See him chilling on the branch? Oh, yeah. So our guy just said that there has been leopards spotted in the distance. So we are literally racing to get to them. Oh, if we can see them, that's gonna literally complete the day. So let's see, we're going really fast. Oh my God. We missed it, guys. We were too late. So it's midday now, which means one thing, lunch. That whole jeep behind us was sleeping. <laughs> I must say, I don't blame them, because it is hot. It is asleep too. Everyone's asleep. And just as we were heading to lunch, we've seen another elephant. I think it's a male, he's absolutely huge. And he's walking on our path. I'll try and get a better angle, but I can't physically get out, so I'm limited to the van, unfortunately. Someone called the driver and said they'd seen leopards, so we like sprinted. And then when we got there, it had disappeared. Apparently he's only seen like 25 to 30 in his time of driving, which is not much at all, really. But we did bump into that elephant that was crossing the road, but all the jeeps were kind of lined up, so we didn't get a good view of it, but it was still beautiful. So that's elephant number four. And just as we say that, look what happens. He was sleeping under the shade. He cooled himself down with some water and then he went to sleep. So we're just finding a nice quiet spot under the shade for some lunch. The food in Sri Lanka has been probably our most favorite thing about Sri Lanka, so I'm very excited. We've literally just seen the most beautiful wildlife. No, I'm saying the been... favorite thing about it is uh, okay. food. <laughs> You have any it's back, gosh. you can keep in the front. Sorry? Sorry? You have any back, you can keep in the front okay, because perfect. there are some monkeys. Monkeys, okay. Got a little jungle lunch going on. 
We had a lovely lunch. They set up a little table for us, which was so cute. I was trying not to get attacked by monkeys. They were climbing into people's jeeps and trying to steal their bags. <laughs> now we are on the move for the next couple of hours and hoping to see a leopard. actually booked this tour with Get Your Guide. We use this company for all of our tours worldwide because it's quick, easy and reputable and they use <laughs> local guides all around the world and they've pretty much got any tour that you can imagine. Yeah. So if you want to book with them we'll leave the link in the description below and we'll put the name of this tour. We highly recommend it. We've literally had the best day. We're still on the lookout for some leopards but no luck Losing unfortunately. Hope. Losing a little bit of hope. But we were told earlier that there's only 40 in the entire national park so it's all luck of the draw really. And it's a thousand square kilometres which is huge for only 40 leopards so yeah there's not a high chance of seeing them but it's still been absolutely stunning. Like this place is magical. The light, the animals, the landscapes, it's just it's freaking insane, like, it's blowing my mind. And I'm enjoying it without the leopard Oh, little baby, hello. Oh. We asked to leave because we're a little bit tired now and I think like the chances of seeing leopards are higher in the morning anyway. So we're on the way back and then all of a sudden this giant male is just coming towards us and he walked right past me and he looked me straight in the eye. It was so beautiful. <sighs> what a day. What a day. So we have just sat down for some well-deserved grub after the best day ever. Mm. We literally guys. saw everything, except the leopard. Except the leopard. But I'd say 10 out of 10. Yeah, absolutely amazing. I'd do it, I'd do it tomorrow. Highly yeah. recommend. Highly recommend. Don't forget to check out the link in the yes. description. But this is the end of today's video. We are absolutely exhausted. <laughs> if you enjoyed, be sure to subscribe for more travel content. And we'll see you in the next one.